Thank you for being here for legal purposes. I actually just woke up an hour ago, threw on a suit, and didn't even wash my balls, but it's okay. As you all know, I'm Jerome Powell, and let me tell you, inflation is a real pain in the ass. I heard some poors on the streets complaining about $8 egg prices. Like I was saying to my good buddy Kashkari that day, what could an egg normally cost man? Ten bucks. Just seems like a lot of unnecessary complaining. Back in my day, a G-Wagon cost around 100 bands. And now almost twice that. That's why I really feel for the average American. Inflation is like your wife's boyfriend, no matter what. It won't go down on you enough in the long run. But don't worry. We at the Fed know exactly how to handle it. We have tools in our arsenal to keep inflation in check, such as adjusting interest rates and pretending to reduce the balance sheet while the Treasury continues to do QI. As for interest rates, they're like a roller coaster ride. <clears throat> Wish my wife would do that. Too bad you're stuck on this ride for the long haul. And as for bulls and bears, they're like two chefs for Putin trying to cook up a storm in the kitchen, one stirring a pot with too much force and the other poisoning it too lightly. But in the end, they both get pushed out a window for not following the recipe correctly. Let's be real here. It's all a game, and we're the ones making the rules. <laughs> well, at least the wages and the poors could appreciate a little bit of honesty. And if Jerome Powell really said these kind of things, I would say he would be a lot more respected than he is today. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. My name is Zuckerdaski here of WeAreChange.org. And we have a plethora of absolutely crazy news to get into today as it looks like there is a massive mind virus going around that is making people shake their bodies uncontrollably in very weird uh, circumstances and ways. All of this as the mind virus has definitely taken over and captivated the corporate mainstream media that is running off with some absolutely ghoulish and insane perceptions that it is trying to shape all of this as there are some significant significant financial and foreign policy troubles in the United States as it is focusing and doubling down at trying to get rid of people's essential liberties and freedoms. We're going to be talking about that plus a lot more all here on this independent media broadcast. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing, you can get it on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. And the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast looks like it's an artificial intelligence deep fake that is being shared around wide. Widely. Now, I don't know if this is the, the original user that made this at Gur Gavin, uh, but, but if it is, uh, shouts out to him. There is a little logo here, at Rep Irito. Maybe that was the person that created this fake speech by <laughs> Jerome Powell. So whoever really did this, uh, if you know who did, let me know down in the comment section below so we could attribute them on their latest artistic piece that absolutely highlights the absurdity of our modern day financial situation, which is at the helm of larger central controllers and communists that essentially have created the largest socialistic corporate welfare system that has ever existed on the face of this earth. A system that is now indebted $31.4 trillion in debt as the United States is soon expected to exceed one trillion dollars per year in interest on payment of this debt, which is absolutely impossible to pay for. And what do we have to show for it? Well, crumbling infrastructure, the military industrial complex, the pharma industrial complex, the present industrial complex, and many other larger institutions that have monopolies on entire industries, mainly because of the absolutely nonstop greedy nature of politicians and lobbyists that have sold you out to the highest bidder for pennies on the dollar, ruining this nation, destroying this economy, all in the name of a quote, great reset and building back better. Now, after the central controllers crash, this current economic system that we're living under, don't worry, they're gonna fix it by bringing in central bank digital currencies or in the United Kingdom as they're calling it, quote, quote the Britcoin. Yes, you heard that correctly. All of this as there is a record amount of Federal Reserve centralized banks all throughout the world doing trial runs right now on central bank digital currencies, statist versions of Bitcoin that essentially will track control and database every single thing you do, everything you purchase, everywhere you go. 
all in the name of, of course, security. Because, you know, the tax man needs all of their money to funnel it to the special interests that truly do control the helms of government. This as more and more Americans, and as especially not just Americans. Americans, by the way, don't have it as bad as a lot of other people around the world that have to deal with record amounts of inflation. What we're feeling in the United States is still a microcosm of what a lot of other people are dealing with internationally. But still, one of the top posts on Reddit in the making of this video is this post that reads, quote, inflation is tearing my family apart, showing a bill from a grocery store totaling $785.31, detailing $20.78 in theft by the government on top of all of this that is creating this tragedy that they of course will be milking for their own personal benefit as the average person has to deal with more regulations more controls more taxes more bureaucratic becky government interventions in their lives that absolutely does not benefit them this as many independent farmers are being pushed out of business as of course there's foreign wars to front and finance and continue this as the former Israeli Prime Minister just recently came out with a major bombshell revelation that it was specifically the United States that blocked and stopped a preliminary agreement between Ukraine and Russia that would have stopped this war during the early phases of it. This, as the former Israeli Prime Minister details how both sides, Ukraine and Russia, very much wanted a ceasefire, and it was mainly because of U.S. Western intervention why this did not happen. This destruction of this larger peace deal also ensured military industrial complex was able to get a lot of contracts because of this as it looks like they are one of the biggest winners here when everyone else is a loser this as of course yesterday we detailed how the conflict in ukraine has turned the defense minister of ukraine is being fired the russians are set to take bakhmut a major key city that has dwindled the resources of the ukrainians that were trying to defend it this says also very interestingly there is some information coming from israel which is now being corroborated by turkish newspapers that are now alleging that ukraine has suffered nearly 157,000 lives of their soldiers now is this true again we don't know the actual numbers here we have seen exaggerated numbers from both sides here of the conflict here and whatever that number might be it is way too many for a conflict that could have ended but was deliberately prolonged probably for the pure benefit of a bloodthirsty industry that is using this human tragedy in order to enrich themselves because what other doctrine are we following here? What other policy? What other strategy are we following here? Because geopolitically, foreign policy-wise, this entire conflict does not make sense at all. And it endangers not only the future security of Ukraine, but the future security of the world. And as Ukraine keeps losing more of its citizen lives, as it loses more of its territory, will this be even addressed by the President of the United States' second State of the Union address? Well... Probably not. He's probably also not going to be talking about the larger economic ramifications that everyone is dealing with. That's also going to be getting a lot worse. But hey, I expect maybe there'll be some uh, TikTokers, some twerkers, and uh, I think maybe even uh, Dylan Mulvaney might be there. So uh, yeah, America, you at least have that, right? And if you're paying attention and you're smart, you will have also lukeunfiltered.com yes we changed the name just a little bit we're going to be changing it completely but this is our own platform where we specifically do videos where we could talk about specific issues that we cannot discuss here on this broadcast on this platform we created our own platform which is censorship proof and we're going to be getting into some very important issues that we cannot get into when it comes to being here on this platform we're also going to going to continue to answer all of your questions through our ama we have a lot of members that are able to talk to each other you're able to talk to me directly and i will absolutely answer all of your questions by being a member of LukeUncensored.com, and I will continue to do that today through the continuation of our AMA that has hundreds of questions. Again, 
Lots of people are on this platform and it's awesome and incredible to see, to join the conversation, to get exclusive videos, exclusive merchandise, exclusive meetups, access to giveaways that we gave away some really funny, interesting things recently. All you have to do is just very simply and easily sign up to LukeUncensored.com by clicking this button. Signing up is very easy. It's very quick and you get access to all of that plus a lot more, all just being a member of LukeUnsensored.com. And I will see you there right after this video, since we will have a new video ready for you right in the making of this, this one. As soon as you're done, check out our Uncensored report just by clicking here on LukeUnsensored.com and also LukeUnfiltered.com, two websites now. Both take you to the same place, and I will see you there right after this broadcast. Now, very interestingly, Elon Musk brought to our attention something that I wasn't even aware of just moments ago saying, quote, the worst offender in U.S. government censorship and media manipulation is an obscure agency called GEC, an agency that I'll be honest with you, I haven't even heard about before Elon Musk brought it to everyone's attention. Now, this is an organization connected to the U.S. State Department, connected to, of course, all the larger intelligence agencies that use the State Department in order to have a lot of cover through their true goals of, of course, international sabotage and action. A lot of this international sabotage has usually been done domestically against the best interest of the American people recently, as we have covered tremendously throughout our entire career. And there was an actual entire Twitter thread released on this in December of 28th of last year, specifically detailing the involvement of the Department of Homeland Security, the State Department, and specifically the GEC, which is directly involved Involved in censoring the American people. This as we're finding out that this Department of Homeland Security backed censorship consortium used 120 government tax paid funded agents to censor millions of social media posts specifically that had to do with political and health related issues. Even going as far as to outsourcing a lot of their censorship efforts to institutions like the Atlantic Council that of course work with Henry Kissinger very extensively. This as it was also quasi private intelligence agency connected institutions deciding what people of the United States can and cannot listen to or watch or observe. As we're finding out that this huge issue has led to over 22 million tweets being labeled as misinformation. This is a huge operation that it was recently uncovered detailing the manipulation of our current social and political landscape. Who was mentioned here? Well, a lot of right-wing media figures that probably, if I mention here in this broadcast, the Google AI system will pe pick up and then automatically downrank this video because I even mentioned them on this platform. There's also probably artificial intelligence that reads the images on these videos. It's probably picking this one up and probably is already downranking this one. This, as we also have to understand, a lot of this censorship efforts on destroying speech in America is usually programmed through artificial intelligence. And a lot of the times we're paying for it. Our tax dollars that are indebting this country is being spent specifically to censor political voices in this country, which is absolutely absurd and crazy. This as Kanoka the Great details that, quote, these unelected bureaucrats who get to play judge, jury, and executioner and control the thoughts of millions of Americans, specifically asking the question, who are these individuals? Well, individuals like Chris Krebs and individuals like Richard Stiegel, the founder of this State Department Global Engagement Center that has literally called for the end of the First Amendment in the United States. Yes, I'm not kidding you. There's an op-ed piece in the Washington Post with him literally calling to destroy the first basic, most important right of American citizens, and that is the right to speak freely. We're also finding out that anything that the government didn't like or these private individuals didn't like themselves, they just simply labeled as Russian disinformation, using this larger excuse of geopolitical conundrums with Russia as a scapegoat to justify their totalitarian Orwellian behavior, which is absolutely disgusting because when you get to the larger idea of a human being saying no, 
You can't, you can't look at this. You can't listen to this. We know what is right for you. You're getting into a situation where someone wants to micromanage and control every aspect of your existence. And that level of control is too much for anyone to bear. And this nonsense needs to be called out, ridiculed as of course human beings have discernment and we should be able to listen to, hear, and view whatever we want without central controllers and bureaucrats trying to, of course, invoke mind control. But hey, that's just me. If you agree with me, share this video with your friends and family members. It is more imperative than ever. I got one more video coming your way on LukeUncensored.com and we'll see you there. I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on WeAreChange.org.